Okay, I wanted to show you my uh, flint and steel today and how I make fire with that. So I want to show you this. This is from Peter Zabo, the weaponsmith. He makes some different kinds of, uh, of fire steels. If you can see this, beautiful made. Pretty heavy, pretty thick. All right, the usual uh, chalk cloth. This is made of jeans. See if this works. Very nice. But we're gonna try uh, one more thing here. Uh, this is the first knife I rehandled. It's a Hultafoss GK, the one with a thick, stout blade. Uh, I reshaped the tip a little bit. Uh, this is. There's no um, glue, it's just made, it holds by friction. So, but it's a high carbon steel. So uh, let's try that. Same tender, but it doesn't want to ignite here.
I don't get flames here. <clears throat> ah. Just because I'm, I'm shooting a, a film here. There we go. There we go. Now we have flames. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you is uh, you can collect chaga. The uh, it's a fungus that uh, grows on birch trees, on alive. Birch, uh, birch trees and it's also very suitable for uh, uh, taking sparks from a flint and steel so let's do this I don't know if you can see this, but you see it's glowing here. I should have done this preparation work before I started all this. Sorry, I'm not a good example. <clears throat> See my nice gloves? Wells Lamont. I um, dyed them myself to brown. It used to be yellow. from Chaga. So all this is uh, cattail weed. Very fine fibers, easily for uh, a small amber to, to uh, grow 